hi uh, today let's see how an orbitrol is assembled so that's an orbitrol that's the outer spool of an orbitrol so you can see a number of holes those are the ports through which the hydraulic oil is going out and coming in okay now uh, that's the internal view of the outer spool that's the inner spool okay you can see a lot of grooves on the inner spool that are the ports through which the hydraulic oil is passing you can see that point that's where the uh, steering shaft is engaging with the inner spool which will be moving the inner spool so these grooves will be connecting with the outer spool holes okay that's how uh, we are assembling the outer spool and the inner spool you can see a spring in the top of the inner spool right now i am pressing it so that it can be fixed with the outer spool okay now that's uh, properly fixed now there is a, uh, a ring a metal ring or a seal uh, sealing object which is coming which uh, fixes the outer spool with the inner spool it's actually a, a binding uh, metal ring uh, which fixes the outer spool with the inner spool like that okay and that's a small uh, needle shaft which will be linking the outer spool with the inner spool and towards that shaft where the drive of uh, the gear pump of the orbitrol will be connected you can see that's the drive shaft for the uh, gear pump that's the inner gear and the outer gear are there the shaft is connected towards the inner gear and this uh, pump is coming at the bottom portion of the orbitrol which is giving the supply of uh, oil which will be pumping the oil uh, towards the inner and the outer spools that's the bottom uh, casing of the uh, uh, gear pump of orbitrol coming in that's how it uh, will look like in, inside the orbitrol it's just been shown in uh, for uh, you to understand but it is not to be assembled like this this is how it will be coming inside the casing of the orbitrol okay the internal holes the, the, there you can see are the oil passages and outside are the bolt holes that's the shaft point that i have pointed just now okay and that's our uh, orbitrol uh, casing okay now we need to insert the inner sp spool and the outer spool which we have already assembled towards the uh, casing so uh, it's very uh, precise uh, measurement so it's very difficult to uh, insert it we need to cool the inner and the outer spool before inserting it okay now we have uh, inserted the inner and outer spool towards the casing you can see uh, the inner and outer spool over there which is already been inserted inside the casing now there is a bowl uh, it's like a valve mechanism coming inside which need to be inserted uh, to the uh, casing of the orbitrol so that's the ball we are inserting it and now uh, that uh, threaded lock will be inserted to keep it uh, in the port itself okay we're slowly uh, tightening it up now what we need to insert is the uh, uh, gear pump actually so that's the shaft of the gear pump which is giving the drive so that shaft is going towards uh the external and the internal spool that we have already inserted and as you remember i have inserted a needle shaft to the external and internal gears and that shaft will be engaging with that shaft inside the uh internal and the external spool okay and uh, that's the internal gear of the gear pump as the shaft rotates that gear uh, get its drive okay that's the external gear of uh, the gear pump for the orbitrol so this is actually the bottom portion of the orbitrol now we have uh, the cover for the uh, gear pump which uh, need to be uh, kept in place and uh, to be bolted tight so as you remember the internal uh, spools the internal and the external spools are combined together with a needle shaft and towards the end of the uh, internal spool there was a, a shaft hole this one over here the top okay there we will be having the steering uh, shaft coming inside so as we move the steering this 
portion will get its drive and the gear pump will act also work because that needle uh, shaft which I entered into both the spools will be connected with the shaft which is engaged towards the smaller gear of the gear pump. Those are the ports uh, on the orbitrol. One will be for uh, the hydraulic oil coming from the lower valve block and the other is going towards the priority valve and the other two holes on the right side will be connected towards the uh, steering uh, ram. So I have connected all, also the adapters to it uh, towards which we will be connecting the hoses. So as I told, two of one is for loader valve block supply of oil, another is the priority valve and those two uh, uh, adapters, the hose will be connected towards the steering ram and the top one all there, that's for drain. Okay, so that's how an orbitral uh, looks like. I believe you got some idea about the internal components of the orbitral and uh, I'll be uploading a video on the working of an orbitral very soon. If you like this video, please click the like button or uh, drop a comment. Thanks for watching this video.